here we are at the Lucero Beach and what we noticed after the last earthquake was that this one section of the beach actually uplifted about nine feet into the air. Further up the hill we have cracks that have developed and the land has slipped along certain crack lines into the sea. So this is what we're looking at here and we actually see geology in action. The 21st of August 2018 Trinidad was shaken by an earthquake of magnitude 6.9 that occurred in eastern Venezuela with a significant depth, about 129 kilometers. Of course, Venezuela was very strongly shaken, but we here in Trinidad experienced shaking that lasted, some people have reported, from 45 seconds to 90 seconds. This is the longest shaking that we have experienced in Trinidad from an earthquake in recent times. So this is part of the whole campaign we are doing in Los Heros to understand what triggered the, the deformations that we have been observing. Uh, and at this moment we are performing a geophysical survey. We are doing a seismic line where we want to uh, record the surface waves in order to calculate the shear wave velocity with depth. If we understand what happened here, then we can extend the knowledge we have for this area to other areas in the south, and then getting more details about the geology of other areas, we can see the possibility of the same effects happening in the future in other areas with similar geology. So we are really interested to see if something like this can happen, not in the free field where we just have farms, but in urban areas where we have houses, or in areas where we have the lifelines, where we have the gas pipes, where we have the oil pipes, where the damage will be much more significant than just the, the place just sliding. Um, what we have here is a GPS antenna and it measures very precisely the position of the ground to within a centimeter. So we can measure centimeter um, magnitude movements of the ground. And we set up pins here and in five other different places in this area where there's been a lot of land movement. GPS survey should enable us to characterize how the land is moving and uh, help us to determine what kind of hazard the land movement in this area might have to the people in, in this surrounding area. This here was a road. My van was to come straight on the house and pack up and collect my payment to it. Sometimes if we work late, I used to choose to stay over the night here sometimes. Now we can't do that anymore. Them, them guys and them just have to sort that. See like the, the thing opening more wide. And I start running. And the next one I check my car boy, he's one of my friends up there. And I tell him and he start to run so. And he run on the back so. He find the opening more wide. Certain places. Like the land dropped and certain places it went up. It had an up and down kind of movement like in it and it, some stay up and some drop lower. As you could see, the crop, we just maybe go get a little reaping again but the crop finished there. So this that last till Christmas. Six months are picking as we do have the water, you see this dry spell? We do have the water now in the pond to wet the plant on them. So eventually it's going to die. This is not the biggest earthquake that the system around Trinidad and Tobago can deliver. And that large magnitude earthquake, which we have not seen for more than 200 years, is still waiting to occur. The faults that can accommodate that level of strain energy, they are still storing, and one day they will release that energy. It is important for us to understand this earthquake hazard to which we are vulnerable. We are on the 
eastern boundary of the Caribbean plate. We are converging with the North American and South American plates at a rate of two centimeters per annum. And this is the reason that we have these long intervals between our biggest earthquakes. It tends to make us complacent about the earthquake hazard. But at this time in our history with regard to earthquake shaking, because we have not had this large magnitude earthquake for so long, we need to be prepared now. We need not to be getting prepared because at this point, such an earthquake can occur at any time.